Today we'll be installing some emergency warning lights on the grill. This is the tow truck. The reason why whenever you tow a car, the bay goes up and you can't see nothing in front of the truck. So that's the main reason now why. You see the lights on top, but whenever the bay goes up, you can't see no lights from the front if it's dark. So we're gonna put some lights all right here in the grill. Maybe one right here and another one right there. This is how it looks behind the grill with no lights or wires. Just so you can take a look at it before we start. All right, let's go ahead and start now. The light's gonna go like right here, right there. So we're gonna cut this right here. There it goes. There you go. Bend that down a little bit, just like that. So the wire can go under. And I'll show you what we do next. So look, you can grab your zip tie. We put on those holes, just like this. And that's how we're gonna strap it to the grill. We put them right in there. We're gonna zip tie it from the back, okay? We're behind the grill now, right here. Just zip tie it together, and that holds the LED in place. Like I said, all these are under already. Let me flip the grill so you can see how they look. We didn't use no screws, we zip tied everything. So all we have to do is just hook up the wires and run them to the back of the dash real quick. So I'm leaving this like this. And these right here, this is what I'm plugging into the uh, LEDs on the grill. This is what's going inside the truck, connected to this box here, okay? Power and ground, that's it. All right, let's go behind the grill. Install these wires to the uh, LEDs on the grill. These here, I'm gonna have to slice all of them in half because they're not gonna reach to the dash, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So make sure you plug in all six. And uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with all these wires here right now. Okay, look, so here goes the wires, right? This box needs to go inside the truck right here, but they're not gonna reach. So I'm gonna run the wires through right here. Look, look right here. That's perfect. So this is how we're gonna get inside the truck. I'm gonna run the wires through there. I'm out through right here. The right there, look at that. And then we'll put the box either right here, wherever they want it. But they don't reach, so we gotta cut these in half. I'm gonna cut these in half and make them longer. Grab the wire right here. I'm gonna cut it. There you go. And then you're gonna come here. You're gonna grab one of these right here. And all you're doing don't matter. All I need is a tip. So we're gonna cut this off. This piece right here is gonna go right here. Just like that. So you see the two colors, the gray and the reddish? The reddish one is the power. So look at the black wire that has a white line. That's your power. And you can solder these together if you like. It's your car, you can do whatever you want. So you already have it like this, right? And this will plug into your box. Just like this. Perfect. So anyways, let's do, let's, let me show you what you gotta do on the other side. Make sure you tape each wire separately and then tape both of them together at the end. Now, do the same process on the rest of the wire. These are gonna go, each one I'm finishing is gonna go through right here.
Throw it back here, see it? Throw it back of this right here. And then they're gonna go right in this hole right there. Here goes all the wires right here. We're just taping it so it can look nice. You're gonna grab this rubber thing here. You're gonna cut a hole in it. And then you're gonna slide the wires to there, okay? This is from inside the cab. You can see how we're pulling the wires in. And once you got all your wires in, all you have to do is just pop that little rubber piece back in there. And you won't hear no air or water coming in inside your truck. And you won't see no wires, so it'll be pretty much professionally done, you know? So what we're doing here, we're gonna go ahead and tape up all the wires, every single one of them in a bundle, all right? Um, the reason we did this at the end because we wanted to make sure everything turns on at the end. Once that we see that everything turns on, we tape up all the wires, you know, look at it. Look how good it looks. So it goes all the LEDs and look at the wire. Pretty good, huh? And now you're going to plug in all those clips to these wires on the box. Every single one of them, like I said, it's six of them. And after that, we're going to figure out where we're going to put it at. And then we're going to get power and ground, okay? And I'm going to show you where you can get it from. This is where we're replacing the box. We're going to drill some holes on it real quick and zip tie it, okay? Gotta make sure you don't hit no wires behind her. So there's a little clip here. There you gonna unclip it. Looks. Just clips right in there, see? So we're doing everything right, we ain't breaking nothing. There we go. Like right there. Right there. And then, okay, this bad boy's gonna go right in that hole right there. Now, just secure it from the back. Look at it, it looks pretty good, huh? So come right here. There it goes, all I have to do is the power and ground. It goes all the wires from the back, look at it. So now this is where they turn it on and they can change the pattern, okay? Now we need to hook up the power and ground. Go here and we're gonna unplug this lighter, okay? Pop this out. There should be two wires. The dark wire is your ground. The light color wire is your power. So I'm gonna put this right here just to feed my wire through and pull it off. Just like this so we won't be struggling, you know? So I pinch the wires and now you're gonna wrap your wire around the wire so put your ground with the ground and your power with power your leds will not turn on for some reason on this truck if you don't plug in the lighter like if i was to unplug the lighter they're not going to turn on i literally have to plug in the lighter this right here, what i have in my hand now so anyways that's all to it we got power now just put this in there and you're good to go uh you can put a fuse on here too if you like and you can solder all your wires if you like the reason I didn't do it is because I'm just showing y'all, okay? All right, we got power now. We're gonna turn them on and put a pattern on real quick. A, B, and C is just different patterns. You can choose whatever pattern you want. So let's drop the hood real quick so y'all can see how it looks during the day. So there you go. Not bad, look pretty cool. These bad boys are super bright at night. 